All right, welcome everyone. Um, just waiting for ten o'clock and going to the Discord now um, to start this portfolio review. Hello everyone, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me, Gabriel? Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. So it's good now. I we're early. <laughs> yeah, we're ahead. Works. Great. It's good. Okay. Uh, wait, let me make the um the notification. So. Okay. I'm just gonna tell me. me to, oh. Oh, go ahead. Yes. No, do, do you want me to give you the artwork like last time? Yes, please. That. Okay. Right, so right. helpful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, I'm just gonna let uh, people know in my YouTube channel uh, what's mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, um, my name is Anthony Francisco, and I'm a senior visual development artist in Marvel Studios. And Hex Gavril is a really good friend of mine, and uh, I'm here to do portfolio reviews on CG Core. I'm gonna start. Um, okay. Get this. Actually, I wanted to. Uh, mm -hmm. This image you shared. Um, mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite okay. things I did for. Your own image? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna critique it. Here it is. Oh. This is what I should have done. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a lot of stuff. But um, I was gonna say, overall, uh, I. I, I love looking at like learning more composition stuff. So for people that want to learn more, I really enjoyed the Edgar Payne composition um, landscape painting book. If you guys check it out, it's a lot of that stuff here. How are you doing, Gabriel? I saw you. Uh, your drop. Check it <laughs> out. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, okay. Okay. I was trying to find the point where where. You know, oh, where we stop. Yeah, where we stopped. Uh, one sec. Okay. All right, it's okay. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm gonna just show okay. this this composition element. I'm trying to do use the foreground. I mean, for for this image, I was trying to use the foreground elements to direct your your eye to his face. Mm -hmm. So if you notice. You know, I, I, I'm trying to like get your eye all going to his head over here. Um, in terms of keyframe stuff, and even uh, uh, this one's like a circle. Hmm. I forgot. I I should look at the Q and A right for. Actually, actually, why don't we do uh, something also mm. uh, before before we start? Um, mm -hmm. Maybe the um, uh, like before we start the uh, like the actual the actual thing because like one thing we want to do last time right is 
what if we also introduction answer, like, like a few a few no, no, a few questions maybe um, um yeah yeah and, and then and then maybe we'd like to do one and then we could do one later so uh you know some of the things that we didn't get to uh last time so yes maybe, maybe the first one is um which is i think is it's probably uh, uh you know something that a lot of people want to know which is basically uh so how do you like what is your answer to like how do you get basically as you get to start as a character artist like what are the things to do the things not to oh. do look out mm -hmm. for like um, you know what is what is basically your advice for someone who wants to be a character you know artist like you a character designer like you oh um advice i would say in the beginning um i did a lot of figure drawing uh classes um but because um you know i think i talked about this last time maybe uh my i had this sense of urgency that i needed to find work right away because my parents actually separated and um i went with my dad um because they wanted to kick <laughs> kick me out too no but not really that way my dad just you know he's he, he i don't want him to be alone so i went with him uh but uh, from that time i was like oh no you know i gotta like hurry up with this and i kind of took uh almost like took a a path that i thought was you know this is the quickest path so when i was taking figure drawing classes i was taking um figure quick sketch gesture drawing a lot more than um than like that 10 hour pose or something because i i wanted to be quick uh in in getting ideas and design and i thought uh gesture was really important uh in terms of um, um making sure the character has good feeling and then and then it, the interesting thing about that is when you do do that uh classes or do that skill you find this um a rhythm uh, almost like a rhythmic way of putting down a line quickly like for example even even this this character there's this there's this gesture line that i'm trying to make him feel like he's you know he's um he's a like a pyramid very strong triangle shape but when you when you do gesture drawing what you do first is you kind of do this envelope thing where you where you like cover the uh the points of the character and then you break it down from inside mm -hmm. like that so so it's this quick way of and that's one way and then the other way would be when you have um the gesture line and then you build on top of that gesture line you know the see like this one i already could tell it's wrong <laughs> but uh maybe um Maybe with him, I I did more of a straight like this, and then you have your rib cage, you have your pelvis, and then you build from there. But you could see these guys. I'm I'm trying to do this simple kind of gesture line. Uh, think of the center line and going into in into this kind of rhythm. Even this guy right here, he's going this way. But then I build the rib cage on top, the pelvis, and then then you build on top of that but at least you have this strong gesture bringing your eye where you want it to go so that was important for me to do gesture drawing a lot and and to see if you could do one minute two minute poses five minutes um yeah, and, and and how 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 many times have you recommend like someone does like at least like theater once a week and just drawing once a week like what is the ratio to a 10 uh, like for instance like live figure drawing um, as as much as you can, but in my case, I I did it to the point where I kind of understood somewhat already, and then I went to the next thing um, because again I was in a hurry, and I went to this school called um, Associates in Art, and they had like all professionals teaching, which is really awesome. And when um, when I think I kind of got a grasp of you know of course I thought I got the grasp, but I really didn't. But um, I just went on to the next one, which is like sculpting. I took sculpting classes because you want to be able to kind of see the character I I in 3D space. Now now there's ZBrush, so the ZBrush is awesome. You don't have to get your hands dirty. But at the same time, everyone should at least take one or two classes of actual traditional sculpting because it just destroyed my brain <laughs> the first time I did it. It's like, wow, I couldn't understand it. And... Um, luckily, I had some good teachers, and uh, they made me understand 
uh, sculpting in, in in a almost like a gestural drawing kind of way because the guy that I took was more of gestural sculpting. So he's also fast. Um, I think if I was building like a character creation thing, I was building on speed first, uh, speed of design, speed of because you know that's what you need for concept art. Um, but uh, at the same time, there's a part uh, where where after you get that speed skill that you're trying to do then you go into honing it and really finishing something so everyone everybody should do like um, um, what do you call this um, still life painting or drawing um, because in still life you'd be able to with, with still life with a bunch of different materials right because still life could really help you understand materials and what's the quickest way to render um, you know um, metal and cloth um, so that's that's too and and the uh, and within that second skill that you're trying to do that's that's uh, very important because then cloth and how folds are on on a human body so that's really important for for costume design now um, and material uh, um, material contrast um, and then the third thing I did a lot was uh, I went to the zoo and drew a lot of animals, uh, like quick sketches mostly. Um, uh, yeah, that was really fun. That's for like creature design, so you understand anatomy where the rib cage is, right? And and then uh, mo most of the time now, after you do those classes, when you're when I'm at home, and I would draw till I I, I, just, I don't re really recommend this, but. I was drawing till four in the morning, like every day, uh, and, and my body. But I was young, so my body still could handle it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> that's true. I'm still, I am still young. But I feel old, and short, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. And and uh, 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 I uh, make sure you have a habit of also exercising. I guess in between, because then I, I really um can't break this addiction to just keep on drawing which i guess is a good thing at in the beginning but um, um right because you, you, you need like your I, stamina I, so i remember when we worked together yeah uh, we would go to lunch this is, this is true we'd go to lunch <laughs> and anthony would go out but he had these like watercolors and stuff and so <laughs> as, as we're walking to go to get food somewhere you would actually then look at something like it and then stop and start to paint and <laughs> we would basically leave him there to paint well we all go get food so it is true anthony is very very addicted to, to drawing and very artistic person um, that was funny that was uh, funny you remember that <laughs> i would have my walk. Like, and, and then and then we'll come back on the way back and you will be sitting there on the street like painting i was like hey, we're going back to the office so we're done <laughs> I'll come back two hours later. So, hey, where's Anthony? Like, oh yeah, he's uh, is there lunch? Um, oh man, you know, it's funny because um, I didn't realize. I think some of you guys were worried about me. Like, oh no, he's not back yet. He might get fired or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was painting for a long time. I go, I don't care. You can fire me, but you know, no, I, I didn't think of that. Uh. I just I, I just thought hey I needed a break from all the digital stuff you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but also it's because you guys are so amazing with your work and I thought you know I need to understand this lighting thing a little bit better and and I have to say landscape painting is the one that helped me understand it more and since you guys went to art center you guys have like landscape painting and and all the time right so yeah we did a lot and we yeah. the, we the digital landscape painting so we and, used to go around. And, and and paint on, on Photoshop, um, just you know, on on the spot. Um, uh, which yeah. Gave very strange reactions to people, especially I think like you know back in like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. <laughs> um, people didn't really were like puzzled by. By what's you know, happening? Yeah, what's happening? Oh man. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess because I guess like okay, so there's a question in the chat that says, mm -hmm. how do you how do you work and study? Uh, you know, strong lighting and ambient lighting, like or summer, winter type of lighting. So I guess is it kind of like connected to what you were saying about you studying like sort of like the landscape? Yeah, so definitely. Like, uh -huh. Studying landscape is um, that that is the other tip I, I would give. I wish I started landscape painting a long time ago, um, but I just 
you know, I started that like 12 years later uh, in my career um, because most of my lighting were just for characters and it's almost like set lighting, you know, because um, you just want to really show off the um, uh, the costume. But then if you know uh, la landscape painting, then you'll know how the blue light affects all the colors of what you're seeing. And you could um, almost set a scene w without having reference you know, of course, reference is always important, but you'll have it in your head how you want stuff, and you'd and you'd want to paint in the really early morning, in noontime, and in like nighttime, so you see the lighting changes and the way the uh, sun affects the figure or or the the subject um, in different times of day. Right, right. You know, um, yeah. Um. That, yeah, so, totally. Uh, and then let's let's get one more from the chat. Why not? Let's. Uh, there's a question that says, um, basically, after you do your concepts and more like the dynamics or keyframe oh. pose, do you ever go back and make like more ortho drawings or, or stuff like that to define the, the costume design more, or is it like basically you know, how do you do that? Yeah, actually, um, when uh, when the main uh, design goes to the costume designer, for example, it we uh, sometimes. Oops. Oh shoot! Let me make sure. I'm glad I cleared all my, <laughs> all my, I, or else you guys would have seen some stuff. Um, yes, yeah, the Marvel work would be. Oh my god, it's not here. I wanted to share with you guys my WandaVision stuff. No. <laughs> but uh, no, but it, uh, let me see. Let me see if I could pull up a uh, uh, turnaround. So yes, I did. I do do ortho drawings after it goes to the costume designer. Here's one example of something that's, uh, you know, the final that we would give. And, you know, so the lighting is not too harsh. You know, it's more, I guess, ambient, you could say, but behind him is a uh, more, more strong lighting um, mm -hmm. from his background. But this is how uh, detailed I would get sometimes. Um, I mean, it's still a rough, but uh, I would make sure you see the beginning and ending of stuff and you know the material changes and sometimes even the stitching I would do um, just so I could see where things go and um, I was really into it uh, for a while you know just I, I just want to be really um, thorough so when the costume designer gets it she'd know uh, she wouldn't be confused uh, the team wouldn't be confused um, even um like to make sure the knots look like knots. Sorry, uh, hopefully I'm not going too fast with I'm trying to let me go oh, no. slow. Oh, no. I think it's fine. I, I guess I guess yeah I guess uh so so like I guess then then the the the, the answer is no. So you don't always go back and, and necessarily make it like a portal view. Um like or is it like uh no we do time? we do if I get the if I get the final design like for the Dora Milaje I did have to do a front and back inside view. Okay, so you do it like, but is it like every time or is it for specific designs? Every time I actually get the design. Okay, you know, I like, get it. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, when I get the design um, and that's approved, then you kind of take ownership of it mm -hmm. and, and work it all the way till whatever they need, whatever visual effects needs or whatever mm -hmm. a costume needs, if it's a visual effect design. Um, but if it's not as important as a main character, uh, we we're actually um, uh, we do a quick one. I'm I'm trying to look if I have a turnaround here uh, for you guys to see how it looks like. Um, hmm. Oh, I think it's in I think it's in my other hard drive. Um. Yeah, I don't have the Dora Malaja here. Ah, okay, yeah, that's weird. Um, but I could share it on my Instagram if you guys want um, yeah. the turnarounds. I should do that. Because one time I was in the Comic-Con uh, panel, like discussion, Black Panther, you know, the Ruth Carter's beside me and the other um, uh, uh, contributors to Black Panther, like the Master Builder or whatever. Um, people had the notion that I didn't same thing I didn't do the turnarounds and oh I don't know how the back view looks like uh, 
but uh ruth kind of defended me and said you know you know he <laughs> yeah he he does <laughs> like you know like the, the like uh yeah it's like oh so you know they don't know how to do the like for example this one when i'm designing this i'm not just designing it just uh uh you know do cool stuff in the front but i'm also thinking about how they move you know like this whole piece this whole piece idea i i knew that was going to be like kind of overlapping each other and that her arm needed to move up or down and and obviously we know medieval armor has already solved this problem so mm -hmm. um so i just look at that you know and yeah. and if you notice the samurai it's like a samurai um armor too that's that's kind of like the basis of how i learned to design uh, the dormilage on top of a samurai armor but just skew it more towards um uh tribal I mean African designs, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And from far away, uh, I made sure to um, to kind of incorporate like these beadings here, which symbolize like the the scarification, instead of actually putting uh, putting um, prosthetics on them. Because one thing I wanna wanted to plan was to make sure they didn't have to sit like four hours on the you know chair, <laughs> the makeup chair. Uh, you know, so I kind of feel like I saved, you know, the production money on that. Nice. Um, Good job. Did they give you the yeah. money back? <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> but so, so uh, by the way, so I gave you the first three, three, uh, three paintings in, in the message. You can start uh, any order. Oh, okay, okay. The, the DMs. Okay, let so, me check. Um, so if the person that, the, you know, the main, like, uh, basically as we go through, uh, if anyone wants to write like a line um, in the chat about if they're here about you know like what is the background of the piece that will probably help Anthony to give you more specific feedback you know if they're not here then you know, it doesn't matter it's just it's just do the trick anyway so this is one yeah yeah um, let me see All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. I know we we'll, we'll try that uh, time limit thing again, right? Yeah, Five minutes. Right, I'm, I'm actually, yeah. I'm actually about to. One second. I'm about to actually time it. Yeah. Okay, good, All right. Good. Cool. So uh, okay. So for this one, as a character design, th this is pretty cool. You have every, um, you have it all laid out like this. But I do like the way you laid these out more. I I almost feel like you could play with um, the silhouette. Uh, better right just to to have like a simple silhouette and then this should probably be crazier and then even crazier but it also depends like we said on what your um your story is so uh another way to think about this is no crazy silhouettes but the internal silhouettes you could change right just play with the in inside of him maybe he has a beard you know Right for this guy, and then maybe maybe for this guy, he has a he has a bigger beard. I like this what you did here with the um, different um, like fur, but but then you could say okay, this guy's the fur guy, you know. So even uh, push that fur idea even more, you know, even down to down here and even his, in his shoes you know you kind of echo that theme that you have um, and so this is guys red this guy maybe this guy could be uh, more blue um, if there are any blue Mongolian warriors but I like your painting your painting is really cool um, maybe he could have just so you could give them their jobs right um, so if this is a set of, oops, I made a mistake. That's not how you hold a bow and arrow. <laughs> You'll be fired. You're fired. You know, you have that. And yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, your arrows. Oh. Um, yeah, and like, like that you're changing this armor pieces, but maybe, uh, I know you're putting things into darkness for a reason so you can't uh so it's more um as more mood i guess 
but also you could give options like a guy that has uh, shots. So that's that's the that's the initial thing I have is just silhouette wise you, you to play with it some more. But um, it's a good it's a good start for sure. And the, even asymmetry, you know, you don't have to have them all like. the same and since they're already in front of you probably want to really try that out yeah so does that help hopefully he helps him yeah okay but by, by the so, way i'll tell you when when we're done but uh, oh okay, okay. Like, if you, no, i mean like, if you feel like you're, you're done earlier that's fine you can, you can also move to yeah i think i think this is done because it looks good it's just mm -hmm. you know it's just extra stuff to really separate the designs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. Yeah, break some sketches, yeah. I'm gonna put this in a folder and mm -hmm. I have to okay. still send it to you. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. That's a good reminder. <clears throat> okay. So oh, uh, sorry. by the way, I mean while while you while you pull the other uh while you pull the other one, uh yeah. there's a question which is have you ever worked in um Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Sketchbook Pro, I, I have actually. I, I, uh, but I didn't do. I don't do any work on Sketchbook Pro. Mainly, it's all, uh, it's all just, uh, Photoshop. Um, I, I have tried. Um, uh, was that Procreate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Procreate is cool. Um, but I haven't done any real work on it yet. I'm, I'm trying to get better at it so I could do mm -hmm. work. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's um, sometimes when you're just in a hurry, mm -hmm. um, you just can't learn anything new. Plus, I'm still I'm, I was learning Cinema 4D, <laughs> so oh, that nice. that's why I really need to learn. And uh, and uh, um, was that co co uh, the one you were supposed to teach me, Carol? <laughs> Octane. Octane, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I need to learn that because uh, I can't wait to do my 3D stuff. We'll render the baby Groot's in Octane next time. Yes, let's render my baby Groot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, uh, okay. with this one, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, I think one thing I could see that jumps out right away is um, um, I know we have to work on design, but I have to say that. Sometimes the gesture is the is like the feeling of the character, right? And that's still character design. So I want to see if I could like push. I like this. You have this arc going here, going like this. Maybe I could have this even more gesture. Give a little bit more gesture to to this. Maybe her body could kind of follow that. So maybe I'll just um. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'll I'll just try. Have her just a little bit more off balance because she's going forward, and then just use warp and warp that a little, and then her rib cage. I want uh her to kind of arc her back a little more and push her chest up a little more um, and then now I'm looking at you know the direction of her the angle of her shoulders just quickly or is it up down so at this point I have to like stand up and like feel it out where does it go um, so I could give a better account of where my body would go if I actually did the pose. Just push her out a little bit more. And then because she's leaning forward I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I really want to let her arc, arc her body like this, because she's about to get this blow. Yep. 
and I almost want it to go all the way out here. It's possible that you, uh, the artist, um, got constrained with the borders of this thing, mm -hmm. um, and you kind of want maybe, you know, to push that a little more, just so it's like a stronger so where, shape. Where would you make uh, the the light source to help the readability of this one for this painting? Like, it looks where like. Pick, where, uh -huh. where would you pick the light source for it? I think. It would be, um, her light source is behind her, but then if if it was this this sword itself, oh, this, hold on, I, I need to, I kind of want to see it like that, like, shh. then the, the lights, maybe the light should be coming from here. Um, and and even your light, you could design the light going with kind of helping the angle, right? So, and then I would take this whole thing. Oops. And angle it some more for sideways like that or something, you know. But if you want it even harder, she could probably be coming forward more to us. Um, that's the part I'm... Um, it's like I have to do the gesture first before I do the design on top because it really uh, right. speaks about the character. You know, that's... Yeah, because I was thinking for this one, other than the pose, of course, I think the fact that it's like basically kind of lit everywhere, um, it kind of helps, I mean, kind of makes it harder to, to read. Yeah. Yeah, it's a... Uh, lighting definitely can help out, but see i'm just i'm just getting the energy of her, her just mm -hmm. pushing more and then and she i know she's looking at us to about to slice us in half i guess but hopefully this helps but in terms of design uh, i would um uh, i would uh i actually i feel like there's nothing to really add because uh, i don't know that the character exactly but it feels like maybe there's nothing with the design that i could i mean designing the weapon could be a little bit better i don't know why this is smaller but maybe that still could be the same shape as this side um in terms of her hair it, it looks cool it's like it's it's, it's anime so um she kind of shows that that design aspect of it yeah by the way, then, we're, we're just yeah we're done with the, with the we're done okay yeah yeah sorry I, I think i'll need more time with this just to understand but mainly the, this one when she gets that the costume yeah it looks looks mm -hmm. looks fine to me yeah um now are those nike cool. or adidas of the shoe that's important <laughs> yeah yeah which <laughs> who do you want to sponsor you <laughs> yeah. okay so this one um I forget. I remember last time you guys were saying, "Oh, design." You know, talk about design more than mm -hmm. than lighting or anything like that. Um, so this, it, it, she looks like she is the artist uh, here. Yeah, the is artist she? is wondering how they can improve the lighting. Uh, well, I guess mm. it's like lighting, composition, design. Um, so I guess just go for whatever. Um, oh, okay, okay. So with this one. Um, I think you could push your perspective a little bit more using these. I, I actually, this image is pretty cool. It's like this kind of really romantic kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is if this, if this light thing is for, is further back, mm -hmm. um, she would want to, wait, is it a she or a he? Uh, uh, who you mean? Uh, the artist. Well, that I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, it's, well, that's, that's just wondering. For tonight's, tonight's day then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Know. But, Okay, yeah. like making making sure you have the visual keys of perspective. You know, like if if this thing is in the foreground, you you want it to be a little bit blurry because it's you know um, it's in the foreground. Like just like how you have this other light here. You know, like things in the foreground, um, and and um, to use your um, scale, you know, visual scale uh, visually scale the object so that it feels smaller as it goes towards her 
Um, that's what I would do. I would also get more of these. I don't know what these things are. It's just light. Uh, I would bring some closer to her, you know, because it looks like it's just engulfing. Just different sizes, just to, and then now I'm, I'm like checking out how your eye goes in here and wraps around here and it'll like go to her face and I want to bring her eye back here. So maybe I could have um, some of these ones kind of help me along the way to bringing my eye around um, somehow. Um, and then just cleaning it up after. That's what I would do, like just bring it around her. Um, lighting wise, you'd want to, if you want one uh, main light source, uh, start off with one main light source, right? You mm -hmm. just erase the. So we, we want the back to be the one that's giving most of the light. And you got I don't know where she's at like these leaves receiving light from in the background and then you could play with how much um uh, subsurface scattering you can have in the blooms and stuff then maybe what she's holding could have light a light source I don't know if it it does but if it did then you could light her face from the front uh, a little bit from the bottom and you know so so as a silhouette it, it kind of reads uh, a little bit better I should put it in its own frame, huh? Because cause the, the white stuff just messes it up. Well, see, like, right? It it feels... Yeah. yeah. But of course, it's just a rough. You have to still go in and, and take care of some of the other stuff. Yeah. And yeah. is there anything you change yeah. to, like, uh, the design or... Like... Uh, I No, I wouldn't change the design too much. It looks like... Uh, it looks cool. Um, she a good mix of cloth and 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 um, lace, I guess. That's lace. Um, again, I would have to know the story a little bit more to know how to design her properly for her role. You know, uh, but I could tell she likes animals, and she um, she I don't know if she could talk to animals, but it almost feels like she could. She could talk to animals. Uh, but overall, she's her lighting here still seems like it it works already. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's just putting like a. Um, yeah, it made me made me think of like you know like the Sleeping Beauty where like she's in the forest where like all the animals go talk to her. Yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like. Um, or maybe another thing she could do, uh, you could do is. Um, Just, just add more light from the background instead of making it dark like what I did. Mm. Um, but I make it dark first so I could see clearly, and then add more light. Like you know, like. But I should uh, say that the glowing things are are supposed to be flowers, by the way. So they're supposed to be glowing flowers. Oh, cool, cool. Well, then that's cool. Then you could have different light sources after you get the main light source behind yeah. her then you could have this but don't have this go all the way out just enough for you know that kind of yeah. um uh, mis yeah. mystery so yeah so that one that kind of oh. works oh yeah sorry we are we're we're done with the time for this we're one. done okay all right all right let me go to the next one mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
Oh, I think I'm not doing this right. I should have them all in the same, um, <laughs> in separate, because uh, I can't see with this whole white space right here. It's like I can't uh, really see it that well because the white's messing up with my mm -hmm. eyes. Yeah, there, much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me just put this. I just want to see this um, again. On the side here, and there. All right, now got this mm -hmm. guy. All right, this is really well painted. Cool, uh, Alexandria. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, it's like by the way, if you want to write. I can read a little bit of uh, what this is about. Also, it will help Anthony. So she said, that, I'm wondering how to push the crystals more. Mm, um, yes, yes. That's the first thing I was thinking. Um, what else was? That's the magic element here. Um, so is this like so is this like a, a dog that can use magic? Like, what is the story of this dog? Yeah, I like it. It's cool. I would, you know, the wings, for some reason, I feel like it could be like up higher here uh, on on the scapula more on the scapula than, than on the rib cage I, I like putting the wings on like animals and the scapula more um, it just feels like it's more solid on there um, or even that look that looks cool more that than cool. yeah, yeah. Put, put it all the way all the way at the back like we'll go all the way to the tail yeah that look i i think this is awesome when you when you do um so that means if this three if it's six then you know back here you'd probably have um the other wing or if you have six wings but that pushes it the design a little bit more um mm -hmm. if you want that uh but the crystals definitely there's different ways to go with this you're in the cloud maybe you want a crystals down here too you know um i would I don't know how big he is. Maybe that's why the crystals are smaller. But what if you, you know, present it even in, in the front here? Because it looks like she's controlling the crystals around around him. And um, what you could also pay attention is um, is the spacing you have. It's almost all uh, the same the same uh, distance. Maybe you could adjust it some more. Uh, maybe some crystals are overlapping something else unless you really have to have them five crystals you know maybe you could overlap uh this is something i like to do where the background and foreground overlapping something that goes between the background and foreground uh i don't know exactly the reason but i could give um give a reason in terms of maybe the eye goes when it goes around an object you know when you go around an object if it's if it's a if it's a very solid like border you can't have it go into the second image but if you have something breaking it your eye kind of goes to the second image um I'm, I'm just making this up right i i think that's why i'm doing it and then you you have these effect these colors affect um uh, the material her her eyes um you know because it's right beside because it, it's glowing um, but these are all just nitpicky. There's an awesome, uh, awesome design already. Um, I like the idea of of this dog. I love dogs and cats. Um, <laughs> I have you, uh, like wait, a bunch of dogs. Wait, you have a bunch of dogs. You have cats. <laughs> I have one cat, and my cat. I love my cat. He's so sweet to me. Only to me. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Would you like by the way would you do anything to the crystals on the forehead like as in like integrate them more into the head or make them like what do you think of that part i guess i for the crystals on the head oh the crystals are attached to the head no i guess i don't know but the whole, oh. again, how do you read it oh I, I was reading it as it was floating over the head 
That's how I was reading it. So if it was flowing over the head, I would love to see it more like being able to show that it is um, kind of standing more um, in terms of like kind of being more up like this and then then you'd show kind of how this light is affecting him but the light would follow the form of the follow the form oh, of the dog okay she so i was right she said those crystals in the forehead are inside of the head That's okay okay part of the head because i read that right. i read that right okay 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 it's part of the head um mm -hmm. uh incorporating it into the head um uh there's if you think of hair, how certain parts of the growth of the hair, some gets thinner as it goes away from like the face or as there's a central point where the hair would be growing. Maybe you could do that to the crystals too, where, where as the crystal goes further away, it gets smaller, you know, and then there's like little, little crystals here. So it feels more like a pattern or more natural. Uh, so it doesn't just feel so cookie cutter in there and maybe some of the hair could overlap the front you know so it's kind of embedded in there because if it's if there's no hair overlapping then that means the skin there's nothing around it right uh, and it's just skin but uh but i think you want it to be cuter so maybe there should be some hair overlapping that's what i would do anyway um and and if this hair is longer and is going away this way maybe some of the light from here it could affect that just to show that the hair is going away this way and then the light doesn't reach on this side you know um yeah, just a little bit but i think uh overall uh it's just the little things to adjust and stuff and but but yeah it's looking really cool okay. I, I would probably just where the eyebrows are unless this is on the f uh, the brow and it moves along with the brow um yeah just breaking up also your um your sizes by the way we have to uh we have to move on i'll move on okay okay sorry yeah see if like from far away it, it feels it feels more i guess nat natural in, in in this part anyway uh but yeah overall it's really cool cool next one um yeah I think that's the last one I got in. Okay. Oh, there's another one I sent I sent you. Yeah, okay. Uh copy image. This I'll do it this way is better, I think, instead of having a page. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's better. Um like last time. Last time was we got through a lot of people. Um mm -hmm. This is cool. I, I like the design. It's cool. Huh. I I I don't know what to say. The, I'm trying okay, to see so my first I'm gonna, image. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you meanwhile. What you, so it says the this is the equivalent of a dog, in a sci-fi fantasy, I guess universe where big animals are hexapod, crustacean, and reptilians instead oh, of cool. mammals. I'm trying to balance alien and crustacean with the feeling of dog while avoiding to make it look like uh, a Labrador with plates or shells. <laughs> uh, what do you think I could do as the next step to level up my uh, concept design game? Okay, so this is, I guess, question in general. But okay, so ah, that's uh, I'm just gonna light it a little bit, maybe because I maybe to give it a little more re realism. It's kind of realistic already, uh, but just adding some just one light source on one side, just to add a little bit more um, gradation on your and I, I i always i also make this kind of same mistake because while you're designing most designers don't notice your lighting anymore so for the final pass after you feel like you like your design already just do like a curves layer on top and just just re-emphasize your your lighting direction right so it, it kind of helps it get a little more You know, it could be cool with this now because I just did that. Is if his scales like lit up in some areas, 
and then he has this blue kind of light that's that could be cool because if he's crustacean maybe you could relate it to the ocean um mm -hmm. this, this is what i would do so re reestablish the lighting which uh the planes of each of your scales maybe um, but if you want it to even be more realistic, see how your treatment of the rib cage is, is really cool. And I feel like that's what you need up here too in the head. The head just is a little more cartoony than, than how you did the body. So I kind of feel like maybe just a little bit uh, more like uh, not as bul uh, bulbous, I guess, maybe more angular like how this one is i really like how this turned out these ones so maybe getting this design language up here a little more i, I would say um because this is cool thing you're doing right here i kind of want to see it go across and this cheekbone that goes into here um, I could probably keep that going for the rhythm there's this rhythm that's that that you could take advantage of um, and, and then just putting these um, a little bit higher maybe there Maybe facing that way more. And the reason I'm making it face that way is just it doesn't have to be that way. I, the way you had it is already cool, I think. I just wanted to keep on going with the rhythm just to push it around this way. That's just, that's all. And, but the way you have it already, I think, is cool. I'm, I just want to see the jaw line where's the jaw oh there's the jaws down here i see jaw is down here i just want to see the jaw a little more there now i see the jaw and i see this and then see this circle right here i would say that shouldn't be a circle because everything is so organic and then you have a circle which kind of feels mechanical see look look at all your shapes here it's all organic overlapping and then that circle just stands out so much what about the eye would you say the same thing because the eye is a perfect sphere yes what's nice with the eye and things around it is now you emphasize that's the focal point because everything else is kind of pointing towards that but if you have two circles then the eye is not important anymore uh, i mean it's it still is but now all you're looking uh your your is the eye right so um it it's trying to make sure you maintain who's the superstar here <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the eyes but yeah no you're right that's a good question um i uh, hopefully this helps uh this uh, i tried to see how much more but she, you really did a great job with it so next phase is to model it in zbrush and light it in <laughs> in octane um right. and realistically see how i put a little bit more uh shapes in the actually i do want to still break break down this a little more just because a little more detail towards where the focal point is uh which is this this head area um i want the eye to really go there and you have all this cool stuff here already um just breaking it up oh yeah all right cool hopefully that helps uh, okay cool so next one sorry let me go a little faster i'm getting you guys are so good you know <laughs> that it's harder to to critique it oops I do the wrong thing I'm so scared to copy paste and all of a sudden I paste something from what I'm working on <laughs> I, oh man I think <laughs> let's, let's make it like a Marble Consequers accidentally leaks <laughs> oh man that would be a the best clickbait you know artist well, from marvel it? Is it? what I, 
but if you actually leaked it, it wouldn't be a clickbait. It would be real. Oh, <laughs> yes. But I'll just use that for my title. Um, uh, Marvel artist accidentally shares in you know top secret uh, concept art in his portfolio review. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh man, so I'm so scared of this. Um, hold on, let me take uh, copy image. Let me take this. Does it seem like I'm going slower than last time? <laughs> I no, feel I, like. I, I mean, I'm 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 I'm, I'm using the the like the, the my phone to check your your time. Okay. Okay. Cool. How's how's everybody else doing? Is this is this what they want to see um are there any more questions mm -hmm. i guess uh yeah if, if if there's any more general question you guys can ask and then we'll, we'll try to yeah. go through some of some of them too so this came out pretty cool i don't know this is hard to talk mm -hmm. about uh, but the initial thing i could say to help this more would be i would love to see more uh, head designs for this um i almost almost want to see like a a version where with just more cooler horns not just um uh, you probably made a lot of versions already but i just want to see something that's uh a little different and then what you could pra what could test out is what if this it's just a little uh, uh, uh the material for this would be different maybe it could be really shiny type material uh, that's what i would try i guess um and it's still with all the um, what do you call this the um, magical um uh, runes that he has uh but overall i i think this is looking really cool but it's for animation i i think i'm i think it's really good for animation it's, I guess it's supposed to yeah. be for, for uh, leagues, but yeah, I mm -hmm. I would want him to just or her to just play also with uh, more design ideas, like even just stretching out the arms, seeing different you know ways, proportions they could try, you know, um, e even even trying. just longer uh forearms maybe uh more creature creaturey i guess but but again this is not saying what you did was was not good i think it's already good it's, i'm just trying to explore more so maybe uh more exploration but overall uh, yeah this is awesome i i feel one no this is good i almost want to see this here or something like some maybe the runes are that color or something uh but yeah I think this this is cool. Not much uh, to really say. All right. Yeah, yeah, um, a pretty cool piece. If you want, you can go to the next one if you feel this one is good. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> that's that's cool. Uh, yeah. How do you um, improve this? Or um, I think this is. Um, uh, there's a lot of just little things. It's not even about the design. I think the design's cool already. Uh, maybe the only thing I could think of is turning the head, making it look the other way. Maybe it could give it more like a dynamic feeling to it. You know, because the body's that way and then maybe the head could be this way. But not all, all the way facing there. Maybe he could be facing a little bit front or something. I don't know. But... um. But yeah, overall this is good. Um uh, trying to see maybe maybe breaking up this shape a little more. Maybe just like that. A little piece or even putting a little bit of a shoulder thing here. That is as an option, you know, that's that's all. It's not um it's nothing this really needs, I think. I think it already looks cool. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks cool. What else? Hey, how about the artist? Is he there? Any questions? Or uh, I think yeah, I think they're here. Um, I didn't write anything though. 
um, but yeah, I agree. It's like it's a it's a good piece. I agree. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's fun. It's fun. Nice uh, design. Um, I mean, you could say you could push the sections a little bit more, but again, we have to know what kind of cartoon it is. Uh, but just looking at it, it looks cool already. <laughs> Um, so for this one, uh, maybe, uh, uh, I think it's looking cool mm -hmm. design wise. I think it's looking cool. And yeah, I agree. It's a good design. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just finished. You could finish it up some more. Um, I would, I think I, I think I would, I think I would think of the anatomy a little more and try to. try to get this in the proper proportion to the sh where the shoulders are maybe I would say uh, just so it doesn't feel like it's uh, unless that's what you wanted it to feel like uh, really tight up there um, like pushed in but but I would like it to be a little more, like a fi you know, fitting the shoulder where the shoulder is, um, this rhythm. And center of the neck, so I would probably push this a little more here. Yeah, but, um, and maybe little design elements here. So you kind of, so right now you have the yellow and then the purple. And then you just have to decide do you want all the detail you, you know nice detail here or everything inside the purple area that's what i would do any I, I would like to put like different um like a detailing here and like just shiny stuff just so there's a contrast between the in the the two sh colors you know like just and and, and you could even play with how this one breaks up. And then how when it comes to here, it kind of disappears and then becomes her, her feet, feet shoes, kind of. It's interesting <laughs> actually, <laughs> you know, um, maybe some, theme of of this I, I, I like these wings I almost feel like if I could just have a little bit more of this uh, feathers coming up but yeah I, I think see uh, how I know it's 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 creative to me because I'm coming up with other ideas based on your design already um, that's, that's true that's a good point yeah that's how you know it's it's yeah it's a good design Definitely, you could, you know, punch up the the ambient occlusion. Is that <laughs> the ambient occlusion? <laughs> yeah, so just, yeah, like yeah. you know, here the contact contact shadows. The contact shadows. Yes, I remember that discussion. <laughs> Anthony, there's no such thing as <laughs> I forgot what you were saying, but. Remember we were talking about that ambient occlusion. No, Anthony, there's no yeah. such thing as ambient occlusion in yeah. real life. It's called contact shadows. Do you remember that? I remember that. Our conversation. <laughs> um, anyway, that I think um, that kind of helped. And then uh, uh, maybe I could do a color balance real quick. Get the shadows warmer and then the highlights cooler and just do a quick um uh curves and then you could um turn off the curves uh invert the curves and just use that to put some of the stuff in yeah, anyway, uh, this is five minutes. Sorry, that took long. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, yeah, we're so hopefully that helped with this one. Um, but how finished do you want it? Because this could, 
get even more finished you know um so if it's the way i want to do it i'd say this is a good start and you know finish it more mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. unless this is the style he wants it in or she wants it in already then it's cool okay yeah, now okay. Yeah. here any questions from anybody um nope uh, i i'll read them otherwise how about okay I think this this the person made this one in the is in the chat too. So if um, they want to say anything about it, um, they uh, they can. The, so this one I gave you two just so because you can read yourself what some of the stuff is supposed to be. So you have the painting itself and then this like break breakdown of of, of the parts. Ah, cool. Yes, this is cool. I like this illustration this design is awesome um yeah then, so that's the whole vibe that, yeah that's the yeah this came out really cool yeah, uh, yeah very, very cool yeah uh i don't know not much to say uh with this i think uh i feel like you should be working if you're not working uh working <laughs> in the industry this is pretty cool already um Maybe little things like uh, making sure that that this this little cool design you have here actually feels like make it feel like it's wrapping around a little more, you know, um, like these. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna read a little bit of the setting. Is that she's a sci-fi zoologist specializing in dragons. She's in a cold and arctic setting. The idea is that they protect the dragons, retrieve abandoned eggs, and protect them. Maybe even raise the babies. Well, I mean, yeah, it's very clear. That she yeah, it's pretty clear. So I think this is successful oh. already. Yeah, yeah. I love the egg container. I love it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I wonder if, it, if, if you needed a belt. Because if she's a scientist, maybe the only thing she would be needing is, like, little gadgets and stuff, you know? I think, or, you know, stuff around her mm -hmm. that's attached to this piece right here. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Like, this could be like a, like magnetic strips that she could just put her tools right there, you know, or something. Or even like, I think like uh, if she goes out, she could have like, you know, the ones is like radios and stuff like that. Yes. Know? Radios could be cool. Or, I mean, we could argue that it's already in her mask. Um, the radio stuff but it could be a good visual uh to show but you know color wise design um i don't know if i would do something here maybe maybe for like another tool or something um but yeah it's it's cool uh what if we ask when it is this then then how futuristic could it be so does that mean they she needs you know different shaped um knee pads uh or or could her shoes be a little bit more high tech uh with cutting or the straps on this how or buckles or no you don't need buckles um just little questions um that I am asking about this how else to what else to add to already gr great base and um, it's almost like you need just extra versions um like mm -hmm. even just this straight line maybe you know what if that was or oh you know what what's missing oh no she has it here her insignia i was thinking where can she have like her rank you know her her id tag you know and then maybe her medals whatever medals she has here um, I don't know if that's what's needed, but that's just some examples. But overall, yep. it, it's cool. I agree. But overall, um, I think it's yeah, I agree too. It's a, it's a very great, it's a very great. Uh, yeah, part. it's really cool, and um, even the line works awesome. Yeah. Right, um, you wanna move to the, the next one? Yeah, here's the next one. I think the first thing that comes pops into my mind is just the pose. I just want her to feel more stable shooting that gun, and I just want to push this because she's like bracing. She could be bracing for 
that gun oops ah hey here's a question I want to ask uh, everyone if they know how do you get the when I go free transform how do I get the center thing back you know uh, the pivot you know when I when I twist this the pivots from the middle because sometimes I like to put it to the side you know there's there used to be crosshairs over here you know what I'm talking about that's the part I'm so annoyed with the new um, that it doesn't have some of the stuff I want I used to use so this is the first thing I would do here that feels like it needs um okay by the way i'm gonna read also some of the uh, sorry some of the background stuff on side so it's a viking sci-fi pyro um okay. i like it i think it's cool like uh, in the future a military bases around the world perform experiments on humans creating a biological arms race uh the goal is to create a military force never seen before uh, most of them succeeded Based in Norway, created a mutation called Pyro. Infused with molten cores, these humans were gifted with the ability of molten energy. So unique gears was made to suit each other's shoulder and enhance their mutations. I guess that's the story. So I yeah, think it's, it's really cool. Look at the detail you have. It's really cool. Um, oops. I would probably put some of this red in the mat if she if she's molten mm -hmm. even there, like just. Cause her eyes there and you have it here but but for some reason he doesn't have it in the face and you could even play with the smile does she have a smile you know um overall i think it's already pretty cool um i don't know what else to change except for the pose is all and maybe maybe you could play with with these shapes here um but uh, I'm just I'm just testing out stuff. Maybe a little bit longer because uh, oh wait this is not this covers. These are bags. Okay, never mind. I thought it was yeah, like just like pouches, I guess. Yeah, maybe? pouches. Yeah, yeah. Because I though, one thing is that I feel like this is something I feel like it doesn't even matter if it's character or any concept. I feel like if you have something that like it's pointing towards the direction, like you don't want your frame to end. And I feel like the case where it's like the gun is like pointing at the edge of the frame and there's like no room to breathe, you know? It's kind of like when people take a picture of the Eiffel Tower and the top of the Eiffel Tower is like one pixel to the top and it becomes ancient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one. I do want this to go down. I don't know why I want to see like this kind of... Mm. It's just I'm imagining when she's running to have some like follow through with the animation. Like it, mm -hmm. it just could be cool, I think. Um is down lower and and i know what you're saying you you'd want some space right here a little bit in fact she has a lot to the right uh maybe it could be like even less to the right and then more to the left so that it's, but yeah like totally like yeah this will definitely do you know james right james fake yes it's like one of the things like when when he was in all these classes like it's like one of the first things he used to correct about um uh, not having this like sort of uh, awkward ending tangents, you know, and and or like your yeah. thing is ending right by the the, the the edge of something, you know. Yeah, unless that's you're trying to you know make make them feel weird. Uh, I'm just doing this effect. It's, it's kind of cool to do this kind of blurry mm -hmm. effect, you know, kind of like, like really long silencers, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a really low. Yeah, it, it feels better uh, like that. Um, I don't know if you. I don't know if you need it that long, but you could even have the shot just, or or not, or go back to the how big it is. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just like it long, like that. It's weird, but <laughs> but it's different, you know. Just mm -hmm. and <laughs> and what if it was attached to her backpack and it's like a really huge gun that it, it just 
right? It just go go ahead. Oh, I said no. Did you, are you turning to submachine gun or are you making attachments? Like just like, an attachment, like an attachment so. from the back. Mm -hmm. Like it just suddenly comes out, like it's hidden. Um, it's just when when you look at it from far away, then something could catch your eye, and then you want to check it out. Um, but again, this is just me trying to see how else, uh, how other versions could be, but you could keep it the same like that. So yeah, this is awesome. I think uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah. next I love, one. I love the, I love the, the hand part. It holds the job. Pretty cool. um, yeah, I sent you the next one. Oh, by the way, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in the chat, they shared how to do the thing you wanted to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, man, since you guys are here, I should have help from you guys. Here's one <laughs> other thing. One last thing I would like to ask. I need to ask this brush, right? And when I press alt, see that alt little alt square mm. pop up? Sometimes when I'm painting, it's blocking <laughs> what I want to. Mm. Is there a way to get that out? I want to get that out of the way. I don't have that when I first hold. Yeah, I used to not have it until I updated and then Alt, alt or even Control. Look. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe then that's a setting. Maybe it's turned on. Yeah, I don't need help to know what I'm pressing. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, this, she's looking cool. Uh, yeah, I like I like the themes of it. Cloud, almost like a cloud general or something. Mm. Um, and she turns into a bird, or she could fly. I would, mm, I would um, wanna. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice kind of feel to her uh, style for a, for a film or a cartoon. The first thing that jumps out to me, I almost want to play with the skirt a little bit more. Sometimes, it, there's two ways that I could try it. Is is putting a detail in terms of uh, how things could be cut, uh, like look at clothing and and see, you know, maybe just adding details right here to. To help make it feel more realistic, I guess, um, or even even on the edges, like the seams, um, or even a, uh, I think it's called pleats or something like this, um, where there's a fold here, so that could maintain this shape that she, you know, you're trying to have. Um, I wonder if I wonder if this compass could be right right at the belt and then she could just pull it out and it's just attached with a like a pullback string or something. The reason why I wanted that so that I could you know you could figure out some other stuff you could have um tools or something maybe a light um, maybe another pouch, um, or or showing off this design a little more. Uh, I, wonder, I wonder if I see. I'm this is all wondering. It's like uh, you have to try to see if it would work. Mm -hmm. If her shirt was separate, like this is separate from the from the skirt, but I don't know if that would work. Um, Um, pose wise it looks fine oh, I feel like I don't have much to say but it's just rendering mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right like in design I don't know I'm, I'm still just testing out nothing really c jumps off at me except for just how would I wear this you know where's, where's the openings mm -hmm. looks like it's on, on the side here but 
So uh, I want to say something about you to the guys. Um, so uh, since we're not gonna go on for a lot longer, um, uh, you know, there's obviously a bunch of art left still, but uh, there's like people that were not around for the first, nor are around for the second round. So um, you know, I'd like to prioritize uh, anyone who's here. So yeah, yes, please. If you're if you're here and your art does not been reviewed, uh, but you have already posted it. So not new people, like we're trying to go um, basically through people that are already posted. Uh, you know, the, feel free to repost your art in the portfolio review channel with like any background and we'll go through that first. If not, I'll, I'll still be prioritizing, but um, but I would love to, to do it for, for, you know, people that are actually here. Um, so like, even if you've posted in the channel, uh, if we have not gotten to you, uh, feel free to repost it right now. Um, yeah, I think I think this is cool. This it, it's it's a little harder to figure out what I could do for this right now because I I think I really like the design. It's yeah. just rendering the parts and figuring out, uh, you know, what else he needs. Uh, what is this? Her, Herinus, Herinus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Uh, I'm gonna go to the next one. Um, yep, yep. How's everybody doing? Are they any reactions? Yeah, I mean everyone's. Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, necessarily touch you, but yeah, everyone really appreciated every single, uh, every single, uh, you know, uh, feedback you've given so far. Ah, and cool. They, they all say thank you so much. Thank you so ah, much. awesome, awesome. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Okay, let's have a one, two, three, four. Let me see. One, two, three, four. I need four. This would be the last uh, batch now. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, maybe maybe five. Okay, let's do this one too. Five. Just just post it. And okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think. Uh... All right, fine. Let's do six. And oh wow, this is a this is a big piece of stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, you know what I, I, I think like, let's do this. Let's do let's do it like yeah, let's let's really try to really really stick to the, the like let's do maybe four minutes and, and we we go over the last uh, this last batch ascension private okay. So. okay, four minutes. Alright, four minutes each. Um what was I gonna say? Uh oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Mm. Is everybody here with these images? Uh, yeah, everyone is here with these images. Uh, sorry, I wasn't looking at your screen now, so I don't know if you copy pasted everything I, I, I sent you, but I sent you. Let me see. One, two, three. Four, I didn't. Five, I didn't do six. it yet. Not to all of it. I just got three right now. These three. Yeah. And I realized we should be saying the names of the people, um, so they I would know. Yeah. Um. So I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll to you. Okay. So which one are you doing first? Um, uh, I'm gonna do this first. Okay. So this um, is from Shin Shin Yu. Yeah, all uh, right, Shen Yu. All uh, right. So, uh, just super quick, she said um, uh, she was pointed out uh, how to improve to deal with the uncanny valley. Mm. Uh, and that uh, she's a, a mythological uh, were fox. Um, so, were she's fox. supposed to be still uh, feminine. Um, okay. I think the first thing mm -hmm. I can do is like soften the. Just soften um, some parts, maybe with a blur uh, brush, just to not too blurry, but just enough to like make it. Cause not 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 everything should be like so sharp, I guess. Uh, maybe to start off, um, and and not to mess up your your design or your image. Just just a little bit of the parts that are like further away. To blur them or go to filters and just hit like box blur or something um, the face um, this actually will need some work to make it feel more realistic um, it is kind of realistic already yeah you know, I, I think I guess that they, were, they were worried about the fact that it kind of you know, it's the famous Uncanny Valley, right? It's like it's halfway. It's like yeah, 
but you can still tell it's clearly not. Yeah, because it feels like a CG model, um, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get out of the CG model. Maybe doing the lighting again, like like a single light source first. Uh, maybe on one side here, and then um, maybe uh, maybe just let's see this uh, flatten your brush like this, and kind of hit. Maybe you could hit the other side of the face. I'm just testing this out. To see if mm -hmm. it could work. I mean, one thing, by the way, sorry, I'm into it. Like, one thing I'd say, since yeah. this is clearly a 3D model, uh, not a painting, I'd say that uh, for sure one of the things you, you have to do is also uh, work on the shading of the skin. Because right now it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's a bit plasticky, and uh, the, you know, the subsurface scattering is not uh, really coming through. And, the, like, even, like, you know, the shader you got on the lips is, like, it's, it's a bit dry. Uh, they don't quite feel like, you know, that's one of the things. And in general, like, you know, subsurface is, is not really showing much you know like the nose is all like kind of the same color it doesn't get like for instance like a like, tiny tiny bit more red like you have like the veins inside of the nose all this stuff so there's there's stuff you can still do in 3d as well to to uh to push it yeah and i think that's what i'm doing in the painting is i'm trying to take some of the stuff uh, gavril was saying out and then just try to not make it look so plasticky um so slowly I'm trying to do that, add some warmth where warmth should be. Um, you know, the wetness of the eyes and the... And you know where sh shadows could be, maybe work on her makeup a little more. So this is essentially I'm doing like a paint paint over, right? Like um, like how would you make sure you have a roadmap to? And she also says she's supposed to be very feminine, like predominantly feminine, I guess. Oh, oh. So well, definitely like... cheekbones, right? The shape of the face needs to change a little bit. Unless that's the shape you want. See, that's the thing. I'm not sure mm -hmm. how I need this. Where I, I'll probably need reference to mm -hmm. who I'm gonna cast for this role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just give her more feminine features. I mean, she's looking feminine already, right? A little more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Like, yeah. So, sure. like, a before brushes. and after. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so, just oh, working on it some more, right? That's what she yeah. needs. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. So hopefully that that gives you a roadmap to kind of. Of course, it's quick, right? So hopefully, that's enough <laughs> to show. Um, this one. This one's cool. I really like this one. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say with this. It looks cool. Uh, I even see the design mm -hmm. idea here with the mouth. I, it almost feels mm -hmm. like I could, <laughs> you could do the eyes up here somewhere, but then it might be too blatant, uh, you know, where her her boobs are. But uh, let's see. Let's let me just try to see if it. Yeah, I, I love pixel stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. just this. Maybe you could just do this. Where it's part of the clothing, mm -hmm. but you kind of get to do the eye shape of the right. That's cool. Ah, that's it. Overall, I I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's it's awesome. Yeah, I agree. It's just really cool. Maybe just inside here, uh, like the tongue or something. No, no. See, I, I'm messing. Uh, no, maybe like that. So, I even so, uh, like this is cool. Uh -huh. No, go ahead. Oh, I say I even like this. This is cool too. I was gonna say when yeah. Anthony cannot give you much feedback, you should be happy, okay? Like, you know, <laughs> oh, much. That's that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. This is cool. This is cool. Yeah. I, I like it. I like it too. Uh, mm -hmm. Next, um, but again, everyone seems to be really good. I don't know how else to. 
this is looks like a cool idea um, uh, yeah yeah I like it it's really cool uh, one thing I'm thinking of here is how I almost want to see um, this because I because I love like how what's happening here so what if this part you know was more uh went was not flat and went out you know almost like a helmet shape too like this thing right here so if it was here oh man this is hard By the way, I want to say also to the guys in the chat for the very last few that we probably we probably won't get to, uh, since again I, I, uh, uh, we have a really a commitment to get to everyone. Um, after this is over, like uh, I'll give you guys the link to also join Anthony's Discord, and Anthony does also uh, uh, portfolio reviews on his Discord as well. So you can join his Discord as well, and then uh, he'll get to you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna whenever, do some. Whenever he does his own on his own Discord as well, so. You know, saying like, if if she looks through there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, right, cool. it could be cool to have that pan, like it almost like a. And then she holds it up like this, and and this piece, kind of goes around here and links up with it. So if she had two, she would have be she'd have this huge kind of shield in front of her, and then and then what what. Oh, I guess it's just one side. But if she did have two, uh, then then she could be floating like a castle in in the sky, like that. Like that's her shape or something. Then mm -hmm. she could look through the. Yeah, yeah. I think this is really cool. Um, uh, but you don't have to do that. It already looks cool like this. Um, a place to put the gun, maybe yeah. like. Right, if it was up here. I almost even. Um, oh, place to store it within the shield. No, when she's about to shoot and stuff, oh, got it, got it. you know, it, it it would be. Right, right here. This is a cool design. Like, it could be right here, and then you could you could pose her as like shooting it. You know. Sorry, this is so rough. I just wanted to show how you could have her ready to shoot. Oh, see, now that I'm doing this, that means this shoulder piece will stop her from raising her arm up. So uh, maybe there's a way for this shoulder piece. This is like problem solving now. Your design's awesome. Now I'm just trying to see how I could get this shoulder piece to move when you put your arm up. You know, because the form follows function still when you want to design. And I want to make sure I'll be able to move the body around if I needed to. Um, but as an image is awesome. But now that I'm trying to make it work, uh, that's that's another stage of the process. Um, uh, what else can I do with this? I don't. Uh, you could be putting. We have to move to, to the next. Okay. One. Yeah. Next one. Okay. Cool. Um, next one. I agree. It's really cool. It makes me think of like a like a Japanese role playing game. Like, yeah. I don't know if that's the intent, but it makes me think it's a character from like Fire Emblem. And this is who's who is that from? Uh, sorry, I would have to look at it again. Oh, know, that's okay. Uh, this one, that's one you just did is from AK. AK, great uh -huh. job. This is also really cool. Um. Mm -hmm. Design wise, I I think it's really cool. Um, how else to push it? Maybe clarifying. I wonder if no. That's that's. I'm just trying to see how I could separate that. Cause I thought that was like one piece of the body, but no, his body's actually thinner. Yeah, it's smaller. It's over here. Um, nothing much to say to this one. I think it's really cool. Uh, 
design wise is cool oh uh one the thing you could probably try is this thing could if you if you did like patterns that kind of go together with this maybe that could be cool um but other than that i think everything else is really cool already um yeah great job on this <laughs> it's like who who's this guy uh let me see the name one sec it is wait sorry mm -hmm. because everyone did a repost so i can't see immediately oh it's okay uh one sec sorry uh oh from kang min kang, kang min. min kang min cool okay. all right okay actually some some of these okay we're, we're going pretty fast with some of these because they're really good so it's good yeah um, did he um have any questions anybody from the images we were looking at uh, I, see. I like i like uh, I see. you're gonna shield portion make more clear uh yeah i mean everyone's very happy thank you for the review thank you for the feedback thank you so much cool cool awesome um this one's looking cool too i i think I could tell skulls skulls it's cool i wonder i yeah i don't know i can't uh comment yet on it i don't know how to push it to be better i feel like it's has a feel to it what would i do is what i'm thinking it would i how would i change certain things what's the story about him is, is there any way i could uh, push some of the shapes he has in here um, um, skull shoulders look like it could still move even though it's really big shapes it does it, it reminds me of my executioner character actually a little bit that I did for NC soft um, mm -hmm. and he's walking forward it's looking I, one thing I'd say at least again I feel like uh, yeah more compelled when I see 3D. Yeah, but, yeah, of course. <laughs> but, but one thing I'd say is that if you want to kind of take it to the next level, um, you can do a couple of things. One is that, um, for instance, like the skull on the skulls on the like on the chest the sort of area that is duplicated there, they kind of look like, mm, yeah, it's kind of like you're duplicating an item, right? It's a typical thing that can happen in 3D. And I think that if you if you try to make these uh, a bit more unique, all unique, so it actually looks like. You know, it needs to look like it's made out of different skulls, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a really so good see, point. You're just duplicating it. Just then it looks fake. It looks like that part to me looks like, oh, okay, it's just some duplicated assets, right? And you want to make it feel good. So I think you should make sure that even if you recycle things, you, you change them enough uh, in a little bit of the shape, in a little bit of the texture, in a little bit of the details that they all feel unique. So because ideally, basically, every piece in him is unique because it looks like it would be all hand, hand forged, right? So that's something yeah. to, to, to keep in mind. Uh, and as well as I think the fact that maybe the shading of this is like way too clean. It's like, it's so clean and perfect. Mm. Like you have way more sort of like little dense scratches and damages type of stuff. Um, so anyway, but this is more like, you know, I guess it's less on the design and more on the detailing. Uh, yeah. Push it more. Um, it's like, a, yeah, like after you do the design and you got to make sure it's worn wear and tear, you know, mm -hmm. blood around certain parts um and and we know it's like for a game so i'm agreeing with the proportions of the character um but if if it's for you know live action you'd have to make sure the proportions are a little bit thinner not too thick something that's more manageable that you could move with um and exactly what gavril is talking about like even talking about oh this is so clean like it could have bumps and scratches or even just you know dirt you know or blood right like um dripping down or something i don't know um actually sometimes even this i feel like maybe there's a way to make this more iconic um you know that's the only other thing that i would say like how do you make uh something like this uh that's kind of you've seen it before just push it to make it more this is just nitpicky already okay so it's not like the design is that is bad or anything it's just how do you push it so it'll get noticed um right. yeah yeah 
I mean, I think this again, this is very cool. I think that in general, it's kind of like you know, there's a set of things you can do on top to yeah, push it to make it look like it's it's like take it to the next level type of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, little things now. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll go to the next one. Let's move, let's move to the next one. I'll do this. <laughs> just, yeah. I I just want to see if it <laughs> no maybe not uh, actually maybe yes uh, hold on sorry now I gotta test it out now I gotta test it out see if I did put one really long thing there mm -hmm. it it's just something that would like push maybe break break the symmetry a little bit more yeah either. yeah. Cause he's mm -hmm. this one's so big on this side, and I almost f is following this rhythm. Oh, I like it. I like you know, it. on that side, it's like how do we mm -hmm. use it to our advantage? And and having one side that's armored, and the other side not as armored. I mean, he's armored all around, but yeah, I like it. Know? Yeah, I yeah. Feel like sword could like the glow of the sword. I think could could help like lit. Like uh, I mean, it's, it's a light source used a little bit more to emphasize um, that it's because it seems like it's glowing, but it seems very like the emissive. It seems so low. Um, yeah. It's basically, not brightening up anything. Like I don't really see any of the red bumps anywhere. But anyway. That's true. Um, yeah. Next one. Uh, sorry. That's right. It's cool. Yeah. Um. I know I have to go soon oh, there is, there's this one and there's like, I think there's like this one and one more and, and I think and, and, and this one. so this is supposed to be Ganondorf if you're familiar with Zelda oh ah oh, man Zelda I haven't played that game in so long um but I don't know the names of the characters okay well this is his name is Ganondorf I'm, I'm telling you Ganondorf yeah. oh, okay Ganondorf this is oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can call him Ganon. That's that's how people call him. Yeah. Gan, Gan. Uh, Gan. Is this trying to be realistic or I design? Think I think no. Is it? I don't even know how he look. How he actually looks like. Does he look like this? You you could give uh, some crits on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, I think it tried to do a stylized version of, of, of Ganon. Like I can show you. Like wait, let me. I'm gonna put okay. something for chat as well. Um. Uh. But um. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely a very stylized version of, 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 of Ganon. Um, oh. I can show you how. I mean, it's been redesigned by Nintendo so many times, so there's not like one version, right? Ah, uh, yeah, cool. yeah. But clearly, he. Um, yeah, let me show you. One second. Uh, if you want to, if you want, you can do the other one while I pull some of the reference for you here, if you want. Yeah, the the pivot thing. Well, how do I get that back? Yeah, let me so, do it now. Yeah, I'm just gonna see. Oh, so in the chat, let me see. Someone said, "Where is it? It's a transform tool. Pivot, edit, preference. Well, I'll, I'll paste it to you. Yeah, there we go. Here. Transform tool. And also uh, this, the uh, this edit this preference. Thing. Edit Wait. preference. Pre -pre 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 -pre. They say they see look this this thing I want to send to you. This image. Oh. Uh huh. So you're, yeah. You know, show reference yeah. point when you show. Oh my God! This is what it is. This one. Okay. Will it do it now? So I, I guess. By the way, I sent you. I guess. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This is so because I like to putting it here where you know when uh, I use arms and stuff. I so I don't have to like move it. You know, I could just like. Yeah. That so is one of the versions, by the way, of, of how it looks like. Again, there's so many because it's been redesigned throughout so many games or even in Smash. Um, so. Oh, is he a favorite or something? Uh, I mean, he's the main enemy in the in the in the Zelda franchise. He's like. Um, oh. he's like I guess he's like Bowser and Mario, if it makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> I'm just doing that right now. Um, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see now. So That's how you look. 
right? That's kind of iterated with Stella's version of. Oh wow! So the. Um. Yeah. Well, what to do with this? I mean, uh, if he's trying to make it feel more realistic, it's it, it feels more like a toy. Yeah. Um, unless it's a toy version I of it. To make, if I have to guess, it's like a stylized movie version. I think this is meant to be maybe like if DreamWorks or Pixar made Ganon, I feel like maybe that's, oh. that's my take. I don't know, that's my take. I think I'd always kind of lower maybe mm-hmm. maybe the saturation. I wonder if that would help with mm-hmm. making it more realistic. Uh, just getting the skin not so orangey so I could show off the eyes and the hair um, making the I wonder if the hair is lighter even just to see if I could break up the values. Um, and of course you have to paint each strand of this and make it feel like hair. I think that's the most important part. Um, let's get, just get hair um, photos of hairs or something or paint it directly. Oh, nice, I like the, the how you made the eyes pop. Yeah, so it's like pop, right? It feels It feels like I'm putting a render pass on it or something. <laughs> um, I think this, by the way, it needs like, again, I don't know if this is the, but I think the skin is basically also, yeah, it's like kind of just looks like plastic or like a toy. And so if yeah. it's it it real, then, then the shader needs to be thicker. Yeah. yeah, you have to do like a filter. Uh, where's the Photoshop filter? Like make it better. Where is it coming? Yeah, where where is the... I'm going to put a bunch of grain on it <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do the lens correction. Let's put like cyan uh, to take out all that kind of mechanical feel to it and just give it some, you know, some mistakes or something. Um, do it one more time. And slowly, it's slowly getting there. Uh, see, from that to that. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I like how the changes you made to the silhouette too. Oh, cool. Maybe, um, yeah, so that's one, but it's it's a lot of work to get it to, yeah, I agree. to that point. Because then you have to go on it and kind of start figuring out how, you know, where the reflections or the, And then of course, like really, mm-hmm. do I have a brush here that I know I have a, it's breaking up that. Nice. By the way, we probably need to move to, to the last, the last one. Oh, is it, okay. Let me get the last one. Let me just. Yeah, I agree. This is, this is nice. Breaking up the colors of the of the hair. Yeah, yeah. Then and then do it for the whole hair <laughs> part. Is this another? Oh, oh, the last one here. This okay. Oh, this is cute. New. Let's see. So not as much questions as last time. People uh, talking. Um. But what I want to really know is, uh, um, what I want to really know is if anybody could help me with this one, this alt. Oh, someone said it's from the and from the, the Wacom. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out. Oh, from the Wacom. Oh my god, I was just looking or, through. The... Or, or, sorry, Wacom. Yeah. Wacom. Wake. Is it Wacom? No, it's not. But it's it's how people say. It's Wacom. Wacom is Japanese for what again? Art or something? For, for Anthony's great. Wacom. <laughs> um, this one is 
is looking pretty cool. This is interesting. I would. Uh, I mean, this is just all like nitpicky stuff, I guess. I was just wondering with the tail, maybe the tail should be coming out of the pants. Uh, this looks like the tail's coming out of his back for some reason. You know, uh, shouldn't it be down here? I think. Um, but of course, if you planned it that way, there's a reason. I I don't know, but I think that is the first thing that jumps out of my mind, and this cloth could go over it. Um, that's. But I think. Uh, oh, um, the back view is interesting because. I think you have to have the center line here so this ear would be on the other side then this ear would be in front right and and I know sometimes it's hard to see it because when you flip this image here the silhouette is correct but you know you still have it's not exactly where it should should be um, and and how this is bigger this should probably go bigger on this side but anyway, what do you feel about yeah, I mean, this, this is just my opinion but like i feel that because the pattern and the background is so busy and like and the big thing in the back is just kind of taken away from the illustration it's like i feel like it's so like it's so overwhelming to look at and i feel like if, if there was no pattern all around i think at least for me like you can look at the character better because it's just i i so would say I would say I agree with you that is that's that is um easier for the viewer to understand where uh where to look um but at the same time it's all also feels like it if this is showing like a style or something of of the of the show it feels like it it kind of helps lend to it too um you just have to be able to make people see the character a little bit maybe if you darken the background and it's now white or somehow pop this out a little bit more i don't know if it's putting a shadow would help it or, or putting a line um but yeah but definitely without the background if you're doing the design um design phase you don't want to put a background that much you know unless you put this character in his home or in some kind of um situation in the story uh but overall i i think design wise it looks cool mm -hmm. it looks cool i would just the back view i'm glad uh you know for the back view it's it is difficult so i see some of the things that you could change yeah because the front doesn't have this thing coming down in the front the front looks like the pants is going like this from the front see how high this part is it's like it's over here the tail it's not matching exactly so but this is a good exercise for everyone to do uh, but i think i like this better for the background uh, for the back so you you probably want to put this here anyway these are all like little nitpicky stuff if you um, want, if you have time, there's like one last more essential that I think would be actually one of the probably the last ones we can get to if you want to the one then. Uh, okay, okay, I can okay. do one more. All right. One more. Um. <laughs> so, sorry, I just put something chat made me laugh. I apologize. What? What happened? Someone said, "Why is the raccoon so thick?" Why is um, what? Someone posted it, like they posted the picture of the naked raccoon. No, sorry. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go, let's go to the last one. <laughs> okay, now I have to see what is what is this. Let's let's go to uh CG core and Q and A. Is it Q and A? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh here. Yeah. It's in the voice chat text. There's a naked raccoon. You see? Oh, okay, Fido. Oh, this is where everyone's talking. Oh, <laughs> it's the same. So it's the same artist that uh, there's a. Yeah. So I guess the person <laughs> drew it like naked, and then they added. Ah, uh, that's good. It's good I to mean, draw. It's good though. I agree. It's, it's cool. I agree. It's cool. Yeah, I see where the tail is now. Oh, that helps. <laughs> this raccoon. That's so cute. 
He's very round raccoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why raccoon thick? Because they are. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, no, this really great design still of the raccoon. I, I do I do like it. Um, that's why there wasn't much to really say in terms of design. Just, uh, But I would say, though, if the naked version looks like that, mm-hmm. there's something with the costume version that's kind of uh, kind of blocking some some stuff that maybe the shape should show off a little more um i would i would think but of course i'm sure you'll have versions for that but overall great design um it's cute and this guy this guy yes the last one. one this, so this is one it's it's an ancient alien uh from a swamp planet uh that is wait it's from a swamp planet that is found often lost in thought or talking to spirits okay oh she it's a she i guess mm. she's over 1200 years old and is draped in rags and leathers while collecting junk for her pack for, for, for her backpack i guess if i see uh-huh, okay. it has that um it has that uh um what do you call that show with the puppets um Dark crystal vibe and labyrinth vibe. I like it. It's cool. Um, I guess like a rendering would. It would be nice to to finish a lot of the rendering in three D, right? I think, and then so there's not much passes when you're doing the Photoshop on it. Um, but overall, I think I would. As a pre- as presenting like a concept to somebody, I would say I need to separate him a little bit more from the background. So curves layer again on top and just invert it, and then test out. I'm just gonna test out if if I made him lighter, like a light hitting him. Or something from up top. Just to separate the mm-hmm. the clothing a little bit more, cause and then give some cast shadows to kind of help define the form on him or her. Yeah, like that. So is you see him a little bit more. It's more lighting. This one, I think the design. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like yeah. So cute. Yeah, it. W- I wonder what the red stuff is ar- around him. It feel you know what it feels like. Like she's a mushroom, underneath <laughs> that. Is there? She has mushrooms around her, but he looks like feels like. It's like a bending, bended mushroom. The face is right here or something. Okay, let me not draw that. That doesn't look like a mushroom. Um, and then just shadow down here. Yeah, I think it's looking cool. Um, yeah, I would say just for presentation purposes to work on your lighting the back you know and then maybe do a quick color dodge so when you when you do the color dodge you want to get the color dodge layer put black on it and then have another layer that you group inside the mask so that you could erase um erase Okay, I need to soften my brush. I want to get a big soft brush. I just want to flatten it a little bit. (laughs) Maybe that's too much. 
I see what you're saying. You want, you want to frame it a bit more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Frame a bit more. Um, just let the environment also tell the story of your character. And, oh, I, I don't know what she does, but if I, just, it just could, she could feel so much better if you added a little bit more to the story, you know? How's that look? Does that look cool from that? And then there, and then like, you, oh, I want to know more about this character. Some lighting effects. I mean, this is all just really quick, but. That's awesome. Wow, that's like, I feel like you painted this and all the pieces like 50% better just from having <laughs> these things in the back. That's awesome. That's cool. Cool, yeah, because I kind of like the character and the story behind him. And, yeah. um, you know, and then if you zoom out all the way out, you could really see it mm -hmm. here. It's like, I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I, I can, it's still. You know, you could still see it, but this one kind of adds a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I would, I would do options for the head, though. You know, how else can you design the face? Uh, uh, these mushroom segments. Uh, I, I do like the um, that it's it's not also like a uniform. Like I like that it's it feels random. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool shadows of the mushroom yeah oh, that's no, that's awesome that's awesome um well i think cool. uh, that, that will be it uh, for today uh i know that there's at this point very 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 few that we didn't get to i want to say it's maybe two or three. Oh, uh, sorry guys maybe four and and so what we're gonna do is that um uh i want to send you in the chat the link to anthony's discord as well uh you know uh, uh, those that didn't get to get their feedback, Anthony is going to do a, a, one of these uh, on his Discord uh, as well. So if you guys join his Discord too, you'll find out uh, the next time he does one, and he'll, he'll like you know we'll make sure that that again who has waited basically two turns already and didn't, didn't get to them, we'll make sure that and maybe Anthony whenever he does it next time he can he can do it on his Discord. You know? Yeah, and if you missed it or you want to rewatch it, I. I'm gonna save it up on my YouTube channel, so it's always gonna be there. If you guys need to see it over again, um, uh, hopefully, I was telling each step when I was doing it. So when you watch it again, it'll you know again. And if you have any questions, just write in the comments of the video, and I'll try to answer it there. So guys, in the Q and A channel, I posted also the the Discord to Anthony's Discord, and like again, again, the people that that we didn't get to. The, uh, you know, feel free to feel free to join, uh, so that then, as I said, the next the next time, um, the next time we'll we'll make sure uh, we'll make sure that when Anthony does it on his Discord, uh, you know, we'll make sure that uh, get uh, to everyone, and you can help me, right? Uh, I need some help in the yeah, <laughs> in my Discord. Help me for like a couple of days. I want to get through it all really quickly. We'll go. Fast as fast, you know, because there's so much that I miss. Um. So anyway. Yeah. Um. So thanks yeah. for. Uh. So thanks again, Anthony, for for doing this. This is awesome. Uh, I hope people enjoyed it. Uh. Really good feedback from you as usual. Um. You know, there's like so many talented people on the Discord. I'm just always kind of. Yeah, I have to say, some great designs. Very great designs. I agree. Very very good background stories uh like i think there's also a few people that could already be working already if somehow if somehow i don't know if they're not but or maybe they are we don't know but but also very um, very professional stuff as well yeah yeah great stuff again thank you everyone again and um yeah hopefully see you guys in my discord and i'll, I'll share again your instagram again so feel free to follow anthony on his instagram i'm posting it here i'm posting it everywhere I'm posting all these on the channels. Like, feel free, guys, to follow Anthony's on his Instagram. And uh, that's it. Oh, and so it's... thank you so much. Huh? Uh, nothing. I said thank you again. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks so much uh, again. Thanks for everyone who tuned in. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, probably we'll take a, a week break and then uh, uh, you know bring some other talented artists to to give some more 
uh, you know, feedback slash lectures, whatever, whatever we can, uh, we can get them to do. So again, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye.